You're good. Uh, so my name is David Santa Jr. Um, so my presentation is going to be on a summary of my Overwatch skill. Um, so this project came to me from trying to look at my skill as a player. Um, so the big questions I was asking is looking over the four different classes that you can play as in Overwatch, who are my best heroes in each class? So there's offense, defense, support, and tank characters. Who's my best character? And then from that, of those four characters, who would be my best character overall? And then to look at like who's my worst character, the character I kind of want to stay away from that loses me a lot of games. Um, so just to give some background here, so this top, um, the top left here, um, is um, Overbuff. It's a website that collects data. It's actually run by the community. Um, it's not funded by Blizzard, the corporation um, that made the game. The community of players decided they wanted to create their own statistics website so that we could go in and look at our own skills. Um, so our studio is how I chose to pull this data using a um, package called Arvest, um, along with a tool that you can actually download on Google Chrome called Selector Gadget. You are able to pull from a website using HTML code. Um, so the yellow highlighted code here, or the yellow highlighted stuff, are all of the different nodes that I have pulled from this specific website here. So looking at this specific player, I was able to pull uh, the hero rank, hero score, the title of it, as well as the number that correlates with it. And so when you pull it into our studio, it comes into one long data frame. So it's just one long text file that's anywhere from one to a thousand different nodes. Um, so from there, I chose to export it into um, Jump. So like I said, it comes into one long string here. So I just had a little excerpt just to kind of show what happens. So it correlates here, as you see, there's like the hero rank and then there's a 34% in this little green box here. You pull it up here and this is the exact same thing. So the problem I was running into is I needed to correlate the title of the um, information and then the information itself. So what I did was I created dummy variables, one and two, and then used those to separate them into separate columns. So they correlate. So skill rank correlates with 57%, skill rating with 2600. Um, and so from there, I chose to export again from Jump into Excel because how the data was read in, it didn't come very clean. And so I needed to do some data cleaning and make sure each character had their specific um, nodes that they needed in order to work with the data. Um, and so like I said, there are different character classes. So here on the next page, I'll show you that. So in the game, there are, like I said, four different character classes. So offense, their main thing is to get a lot of eliminations and do a lot of damage. That's how I would try to figure out like what who would be my best character here. So looking here, we have Soldier 76 and Fair. So the reason I had these two annotated is one of them does a lot of gets a lot of eliminations per game. One character I can get a lot of eliminations, and I'm pretty proficient in that. Another character I can do a lot of damage. So we'd assume one of the two characters would be my best character from looking at these stats. Same thing follows this, it follows the same pattern for the next four uh, plots here. So at the top right here we have the tank characters, um, Winston and Reinhardt. Um, they kind of follow the same thing. So what I did was I picked the most important stats per category. So for this we look at objective kills and damage block. We want to be on the objective because your point as a tank character is you're supposed to soak up damage and make sure your team is protected. So you want to block damage and you want to try and get objective kills. Um, defense, their big thing is they're watching over the point. They want to make sure that nobody can kind of run in there. Um, they really just want to be like the protector of that. And then support is to support your team using assist. They have unique abilities, some fun stuff. They can boost your power. They make sure you're healed. They can make you run faster. Different weird, weird things like that. So uh, we got a plot of assist here as well as healing. So um, that kind of is the what's going on here. So this is a pretty dense plot. Um, so we'll kind of go through that. So with the, what I was just talking about, I've chosen to highlight the important things that were here. So down here in the right corner, um, same thing we were just talking about with eliminations and damage per game. Um, with the red here is the offense heroes. So we're looking at eliminations, damage per game, weapon accuracy, the statistics that would be important to understanding which of you know the offense heroes would be my best. So if we notice on the last plot, Pharaoh was one character who was at the top for damage done and eliminations. So that kind of correlates with what we were just talking about. We have a bubble plot here showing the entirety of all the characters that I've played. So they correlate with the each class. So the purple class is the, the tank characters, the red is the uh, offense hero, blue is the defense, and then yellow is the support characters. So the, the cool things you can kind of glean from this graph is that as a player, 
I seem to do better as tank heroes and support heroes, as um, shown by the bigger circles here. That's kind of the cool thing, is like, I know now as a player that I probably should stick to supporting other people and blocking damage because I may not be the most accurate or I may not do a lot of damage. I don't watch the point very well. Um, and following that line of logic, Zarya is the best character I have for my tank, um, and Ana would be one of the, uh, my best character for support. The unique thing about Ana is you look, and she's actually in the middle category here in the yellow plot for a lot of the statistics that I have. Um, she isn't the best at healing. She doesn't have the best offense and offensive and defensive assists. Um, and looking through the data, the one thing I noticed is time played was a big thing. So the more I played the characters, the more that the their hero score would go up, which is what's shown here. Um, and then from there, to kind of wrap things up and look at who are my best characters and trying to figure out who are the worst characters. So looking from that, um, Zarya overall was the best character. This, this plot here on the, the bubble plot on the left is showing the top three hero scores as well as the bottom three. So it's showing the characters I do the best with as well as the characters I do the worst with. So we got the biggest bubble plot here with Zarya. She's easily the best character I have. Follows in the tank category. The worst character would be McCree because I just die a lot. I don't really kill anything. I kind of run around with the chicken with my head cut off. It really doesn't. It's not very efficient. So that's probably the guy I want to stay away from. I love playing him. Not the best as I'm kind of work with that. It's a little hurt to my ego, but you know, it's okay. Um, and what falls in that is Zarya, I get a lot of wins. So my win rate is really high with her. Um, I win a lot, I do kind of lose a lot, but the win rate is the big thing here. Um, and you can see in the middle plot here with the hero score, that is the top three. That correlates directly with the bubble plot there. So it's just a way to kind of show it. Um, and then this is just kind of a visual to show overall what I just kind of stated. Um, the biggest would be my best, and then the smallest is my worst. So that's why we got the little McCree here, and I should probably stay away from him. So, and that is my presentation.